to Inverse, today we will be exploring another way to go vertical with our plants which is way easier than installing a whole green wall. For this video I partnered with our friends at Mother. If you have been following me you know that I've partnered with them before and this is because of their mission. They care about sustainability as well as making plant care as accessible as possible for you and me. And this time they sent me their newest product forest which is a vertical garden. I'm very excited to build it so let's get to it. Exactly where I am standing we're going to put our vertical garden and as you can see we have a south facing window here. It is actually kind of cloudy today, actually very cloudy, but we get a lot of bright sunlight from this window so I thought that for this vertical garden we're going to put a lot of plants that like bright light. And one of them is a peace lily right here. As you can see it has a new flower which is really exciting. And I know that the peace lilies actually really like bright light because when I put them close to the window they grow many more flowers. So I'm gonna see how it goes with this one. Then we have two platyceriums here, this one and this one. This is actually a new leaf on this platycerium and I had it very close to a mother plant spectrum 32 grow light and it's growing really well so I'm excited to see how it grows in front of a window. And then I have this one right here. This is a Calithia medallion, so it's a very small plant right now. This one doesn't need so much bright light, so I'm gonna put it here, but I'm gonna try to protect her from the bright direct light. And I'm gonna show you how I do it with this vertical garden later in the video. So let's get to assembling our vertical garden. I'm going to scan this QR code right here, which is gonna give us the instructions and it's really nice. And let's follow it step by step so we do it right. The forest includes a power cap and this is in case you want to add some grow lights in the future you can actually add extra grow lights for your plants. We got bars of different sizes and we will connect them like so. After we have our bar ready we will tension it between the floor and the ceiling which is great because we're gonna have so much space for plants. And we are on top of the ladder, this is one of the few times that I'm taller than Jan, and we're gonna use this ladder to tension our bar. So we have the ceiling here and all we have to do is tighten this one right here. And to make it nice we're gonna use this one right here to cover up the rod. Okay, so the next step is to add these nodes to our forest bar and our pots are going to be on top of these ones. As I said before, one thing that I love is that you can optionally add some grow lights to these nodes, which is really great in case you need more light for your plants. But now, let's get to attaching this so we can get to the plant work. Now we will attach the nodes, which is very easy. All we have to do is to put this one inside here and you just turn it like this. attach the node. One thing that I love about the system is that you can attach them in different directions and that way you decide how the plants are gonna look and what kind of light they will receive. And I just saw that we can add extra nodes to our forest bar which is really great in case we want to add more plants in the future. I think I'm gonna add some more so it looks more like a forest. I forgot to check my peace lily right here because as you can see it doesn't go in the pot. But not to worry, as part of my vertical garden I decided to use this IKEA ladder right here and some of the plants are gonna go there including my peace lily. So the peace lily is gonna go here. We have our first plant. As you can see the pots have a little bit of elevation in the center so we can fit the node here but they don't have any drainage holes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my plants inside these ones, but inside their nursery pots, so I can make sure that I have some drainage holes just for when I water them. And my Calithia medallion right here, I'm gonna place her a little bit farther away from the window. This is a feature that I really like about this vertical garden. You can place your plants at the angle that is best for them, depending on light. And suddenly we have a forest at home. I would love to know what you think 
think about this vertical garden so make sure to comment down below also if you would like to learn more about mother or the forest right here make sure to check out the link in the description below because they offer 10 euros off to the whole community and as always i'll see you in the next one okay adios